them for the first time. And you'll remember that we told them this. I mean, I'm not saying I told them this. We told them this at the time. Wouldn't it be cheaper to put a trailer on the back of a train and haul it across the country instead of this 1,800 miles with the chugging out diesel, driving back and forth to all these warehouses? They sent their first trailer to Portland on a train. And it was marvelous. It took it one extra day. See, they were afraid these things were going to get waylaid and take an extra week to get there. It took them one extra day and cost them 60% of what it would have cost to haul it by truck. So you see, when the, you see that commercial by the train people and they say, hey, one gallon of diesel hauls whatever it was, one ton, 430 miles. Yeah, train. something like that. Yeah, yeah. They do lose some track. Yeah, well, that's the what they were train. worried about. You know that. They do lose the cars. Sometimes they don't look, find them for a year. Well, the guy that they brought in, that Tony's talking about, the new guy that replaced, um, oh, what's his name in there forever? Uh, anyway, he's a new guy over the warehouses. He has more experience with heavy freight and trains, and I think he was the guy that convinced them they should try it. It is a good idea. Now, that means, and see, why that's a good idea for Amsoil is, remember, we say it all the time, Duluth, Minnesota is not close to anything except Canada. I mean, it's not close to anything. The closest warehouse that they sent to, right, is Chicago. So we'll give them that. It's very close there. After that, it's 1,800 miles to Orlando. It's 1,200 miles to Dallas. It's 1,800 miles, more than 1,800 miles to Las Vegas. It's around almost, well, a little over 1,800 miles to Portland. It's a... Uh, 1,200 mile trip to Richmond. So none of their warehouses, since they don't live anywhere close to the populated centers of the country, so everything ships a long distance. Well, when those trucks are going, one of the problems they have, those trucks come down to Orlando and they freewheel it all the way back. Yeah, they definitely Yeah, they have no freight going back. They're specialized hauling anvil. So that's crazy. So you put it on a train, the guy goes in there in one of those, those uh, tractors, gets the trailer from the yard, hauls it over, they unload it, and he takes it back, and the train, when it's going back, it might have a hundred of those trailers, you know, dead weight and going back. But that's, it, it's really a good thing. Like Tony said, everybody cheered because we were afraid. They really built it up. Like, we were thinking they're getting ready to tell us they're going to have a 20 cent a pound <laughs> increase in freight, and then he said there's no increase in freight. And that's really good because, man, we have enough increases without throwing on the cost of freight on top of that. You know, so. Doesn't the warehouse have the tracks going right up to them too? Uh, well, the warehouse has the tracks that go by them, but I think they probably the trailer would probably fall over on the giant propane tank <laughs> right next to the trailer. I cannot believe they're going to propane tank sitting, yeah. what is it, Judy, 50 feet up the... Yeah. Right. So I, can, I can always see coming hearing something that, you know, uh, massive explosion, West Orlando, film at 11, and I look and see the side of the warehouse blown away, and, that big oh, propane no, tank the, 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 uh, yeah, the tracks. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there they have. Oh yeah, the Anvil there. Yes, they have a track, a double track comes right up for their supplies. They so get they all of their have supplies. the train go and loaded on. Right yeah, there. they can bring a, a right there, put it on. It's dropped off right there in Taft. Yeah, Taft would be the place yeah. here, so they just have to haul it up there and unload it. So we'll see some more innovations. Uh, now he did say that currently. Uh, they're really on a wait and see about opening another warehouse. We've, we've talked about opening another warehouse. They just, they started, they were real close about two years ago. But right now, uh, they're really uh, cautious about opening another warehouse until they see they really need it. In Florida or just no, no. Probably somewhere in Tennessee. It would probably be in either Memphis or Nashville, Tennessee. That, that's one of the most likely spots. And the other places out west, maybe somewhere around Reno or Carson City because remember they are, they supply Northern California from Portland, Southern California from Las Vegas. Well, they had a warehouse years ago in San Francisco before California decided that they would tax the corporation on all of their income, no matter where they made it, if they had a physical location in the state of California. So, in other words, the oil that Amdol sells in Florida would be taxed by California because they would have a warehouse in California. So they don't have a warehouse in California anymore. They can ship into California, they can't stop that. 